वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माय केमटून प्रो चैनल माय केमटून प्रो चैनल इज अ एजुकेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर यू एंजॉय द लर्निंग प्रोसेस बाय द वेरियस ई लर्निंग कंटेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वॉच द वीडियो हाउ टू सिंथेसाइज द फिनेटॉइन फ्रॉम बेन्जिल ओनली ऑन माय केमटून प्रो चैनल in this video we are watching the aim requirement reaction principle mechanism procedure calculation and references first that is in the aim synthesis of phenytoin from benzyl second requirement that is contained chemicals first that is in the benzyl required 2.5.5 3 gram urea 3 gram 15 ml of 30% aqueous NaOH ethanol 75 ml and concentrated hydrochloric acid from the requirement of glassware that is required RBF that is round bottom flask reflux condenser then beaker conical flask then uh, glass rod and funnel next that is in the vacuum pump or suction pump let's see the reaction of the practical that is in the benzyl when reacts with the urea in presence of naoh ethanol it forms the intermediate heterocyclic pinacol which forms the phenytoin is also called as hydantoin 5,5 diphenyl hydantoin yes the principle behind this reaction that is in the base catalyzed reaction sequence is to produce proceed via the intermediate heterocyclic pinacol which on the acidification yields the required hydantoin as a result of pinacolic rearrangement and the procedure is applicable to general to diaryl one to di ketones let's see the mechanism the benzyl when react with urea in presence of naoh ethanol and the hydrochloric acid it forms the intermediate heterocyclic pinacol which here the pinacol rearrangement starts with the protonation of the hydroxyl group that hydroxyl group eliminate as a water molecule and forms a carbocation this carbocation after one two phenyl shift forms the stable carbocation which gives the protonated ketone and after the that abstraction of the proton molecule yields the phenytoin that is our important main product which is also called as 5,5 diphenyl hydantoin now let's see the procedure for that first of all you have to take the 100 ml of rbf then you have to take the two beakers among is that one beaker consist of 5.3 g of benzyl 3 g of urea 15 ml of 30% aqueous nh solution and another beaker consist of the 15 ml of ethanol then pour the all reaction mixtures in that rbf then attach the reflux condenser attach water inlet and outlet systems then starts the reflux for at least 2 hours then wait for 2 hours after completion of the reflux we have to filter it to remove the impurities and then the add ice cold water and concentrated hydrochloric acid to make the solution acidic after the acidification it yields the phenytoin and after the completion of this process filtered it the and recrystallized with the product with ethanol or industrial rectified spirit let's do the calculations for theoretical yield practical yield and percentage yields here the re limiting reagent is a benzyl hence yield should be calculated from the amount taken of benzyl 
molecular formula of benzyl that is under C14H10O2 molecular weight is 210 gram per mole. Molecular formula of phenytoin is C15H12N2O2 and molecular weight is 252 gram per mole. Let's do the calculation uh, of theoretical yield that is 210 gram of benzyl from 252 gram of phenytoin. Therefore, the 5.3 gram of benzyl will forms the x gram of phenytoin. Let's do the cross multiplication. x is equal to 252 into 5.3 upon 210 is equal to 6.36. So, the theoretical yield is 6.36 gram. We have to calculate the practical yield by measuring the our plot product then our practical yield after completion of practical yield we have to calculate the percentage yield this percentage yield is equal to practical yield upon theoretical yield into 100 let's see the reference books the Ogle textbook of practical organic chemistry by B.S. Furnish and tactile edition tactile fifth edition page number 153 the practical organic chemistry by Hitesh G. Rawal Nirali publication page number 313 thanks for watching this video please do comment like share and subscribe my channel thank you once again